Hey guys, welcome to Coupon Envy. This is actually a requested video. For, someone requested how do I do my hauls and how I go about doing it. I'm going to straight up be honest with you guys. I really don't plan any of my hauls. I don't go by what others do. I am my own person, so I do my own hauls. I make them up as I go. So, and that's how I'm able to upload different videos for you guys because I just go and do my hauls right there in the store but I used to try to plan it but all the time at CVS because I shop there a lot my store always have clearance fines and clearance fines is basically stuff that you <laughs> that you'll find on clearance so let's say for instance I wanted to get this makeup deal it's uh, spend 15 get five dollars I might go to CVS and find this particular product right here for like on clearance for two dollars well that's taken away from what I already had planned in my haul to get and how much I'm supposed to spend out of pocket and things like that so therefore I would have to readjust my price so instead of me doing all that at home I just spend the extra time in the store and I do so so for this week we did uh, this deal here when you spend 20 you'll get a five dollar extra care bucks on the Purcell, the Scott, and the Cottonelle deal so let's say I wanted to go out and do this deal what I would do is I sum up exactly how many coupons I'm going to need. So if I'm going to have to spend $20 and these items here, let's click on it. Let's see how much they are. $3.34. Excuse the shaky camera because I'm doing this with one hand recording, okay guys? And the Scott deal is five dollars and forty nine cents. Let's try this one here. This is six dollars and ninety nine cents. So how many would you need to purchase in order to get to that twenty dollar mark? Well, let's do the math. And I already made a video on how I did the math for this particular haul. But I'm going to go ahead and do it over again. So let's try it out. Hmm. I may need to purchase, let's try two to get to $20 mark. So I'm going to get one $6.99 Scott and one $5.49 uh, Scott paper towels, okay? So let's see, six dollars and ninety-nine cents plus the five forty-nine for the paper towels. That only got me to twelve dollars and forty-eight cents. So that's nowhere close to my twenty-dollar mark that I need to get in order to get that five dollars. That's what I'm shooting for, okay? So. In order for me to get to my $20 mark, I would need to spend $8 more. So what will get me to $8 more? Hmm. Maybe another Scott? Toilet paper? Let's see. Plus $6.99 for the toilet paper. $19.47. Well, I'm not sure if I... I made it to that mark of the 98% rule for CVS, uh, they'll round it up. So I might have to throw something else in there or recalculate something else that I need to get instead of the two toilet paper in one Scott. Okay? Or I can go above the $20 mark and I can add the Purcell, $3.34. Three dollars and thirty-four cents. So so far, I'm at twenty-two dollars and eighty-one cents. So I made it to the twenty-dollar mark, which will get me that five-dollar extra care bucks. Yay! We did it. Now, how do we subtract our coupons? Remember, 
we got two of the Scott toilet paper, one of the Scott uh, paper towels, and one per cell. Okay? And that's what got us to the $22.81. Boom. We automatically qualify for this $5 extra care bucks. Now it's time to subtract the coupons. So, you have already two Scott toilet paper. That's two items. One paper towel. That's a total of three so far. And the purse sale. So, that's four. You're going to need to get four coupons. I don't like purchasing stuff that I can't use coupons with. That's just my rule. I'll wait until there's a coupon for it. Unless I really need it. Or if it's a food item and I can't purchase it with a coupon, that's fine. But these simple items here, I know I can get these down to at least under $10 out of my pocket. And still end up with extra care bucks. That you will learn further on as you continue to shop with me and learn how to do the extra care bucks and the roll in the transaction and stuff like that okay but let's get back to our transaction here the twenty dollar mark so we need four coupons okay two for the toilet paper one for the paper towel and one for the purse sale so so far there is a dollar off coupon for the Scott printable on scottbrand.com also for the paper towels I believe they're still available if not they'll be available again don't worry and also this per sell two dollar off coupon is found in last week's insert so we're gonna subtract the two for the paper towel one I mean two for the toilet paper one for the paper towel and two. So let's subtract our coupons. Two dollars for the purse sale. One dollar for the Scott paper towels. And two dollars for the toilet paper. So far it's seventeen dollars and eighty one cents. $17.81 is what you're going to spend out of pocket and you're going to get a $5 extra care buck at the end of your transaction. Okay, so your final price for that would be $12.81 for all of these items that we just mentioned here. Okay, and that's how I determine whether or not I want to do that deal or not. Because do I want to spend the twelve dollars and eighty one cents out of pocket after my extra care bucks, or do I want to wait for a better deal? Hmm. That's up to you. I have my budget of where I don't go over my forty dollar mark each week. Everyone is different. You want to set a goal and don't go above your goal. Okay? So if you have a budget of $20 a week, please stick to that budget because that's the whole purpose of couponing. You want to be able to save money while shopping. That is just it. If you go above your mark, you're not saving. Yes, I can go out there and spend a thousand dollars and get ten times as much as everyone else on all my products, but what is that benefiting me? Nothing. It's not benefiting us at all because we're not saving any money. That's not the purpose of me couponing. I set a goal, I stick to my goal. If I go over my budget, I take it out from the following week sometimes. There be there is times where we do go over our budget, and that's fine. There's some good deals out there that you probably might not want to pass up. 
you know. Um, for me, this week, it was a really good deal because I had a $5 extra care bucks from last week that I rolled into this transaction here. So instead of me spending more money out of pocket, the $17, I spent the 15 Well, actually, no. It was actually less than that. I spent $9 out of pocket, and I got back $5. So this whole transaction here only cost me $4. $4 for all my products. And you can see it in my YouTube video, my video for this week's haul at CVS. Okay, so let's say you wanted to go on to do another one. Uh, what kind of haul do you want to do here? It all depends on what you want to do, what you need. Makeup deal. See? When you spend 15 on any of these products here, you get $5 extra care buck. Like I said, I don't do deals that will not benefit me in the long run. Therefore, I'm not going to do a deal that's not going to give me any money in return. I only buy stuff that gives me money in return. Unless I'm getting it for dirt cheap or free. <laughs> okay? So when you spend 15 you get $5 extra care buck. This week, this deal right here on the All May, we all did this deal. It was a awesome deal it was also a money maker for us so at my store the all may was on sale for five dollars and forty nine cents when you spend fifteen dollars you will get a five dollar extra care bucks there was also a four dollar off coupon found in this week's insert and also there's a printable coupon found at coupons.com so before you do any of these deals, before you go out and do all these deals, you want to make sure that you have all your coupons set aside. And maybe a little bit extra just in case. You never know. But make sure you plan what you're going to do, number one. So if you want to do this makeup deal or if you wanted to do the shampoo deal, make sure you have your coupons already set aside print them out. If you don't have access to a printer, you can also go to the library or you can also do clip coupons. Whichever store you shop at, ask them if they have clip coupons. I'm not sure, but you can also go to cvs.com. They also have their own specialized coupons too as well from coupons.com too. Anyways, Plan out ahead. Make sure you double check your work. What I do is I spend extra time in the store and I recalculate all my things ahead before I get to the register. If I know I'm going to do several transactions, I make sure I let everyone else go ahead of me. I am that courteous because I don't want to have a backed up line at the stores I shop at because one thing about my stores is my cashier allows me to be great. I love them. And my cashiers are my best friend. Trust me on this. Your cashier should be your best friend too. The reason being is coupons sometimes are not our friend. There are going to be times where we're going to need these cashiers to key in certain coupons because they beep. And trust me, they will beep. <laughs> so you want to be extra courteous and extra kind, especially if these are stores that, that that's in your neighborhood that you normally shop at. And, you know, these are customers that you see on a daily basis. You don't want to hold up the line and then people getting all angry and frustrated at you because, you know, oh, couponers this, couponers that. No, I am very courteous and I let people go ahead of me. Even if it takes an additional 10 minutes inside the store, I make sure I do that. Okay. Just to show my appreciation to them because they don't have to key in these coupons for us, number one. 
Number two, the managers can deny us of any sale regarding coupons. Even if it's for the correct product. If I got a Lori, uh, Pantene coupon and my Pantene coupon is not scanning and it says and it reads that it's for this particular brand. They don't have to key in this um, coupon for us. But it's just the kindness. And I show my appreciation by that. So I am going to do another planned video for you guys and this next week's sale so let me know of a store and I'll pick a store that I can do a breakdown video for you guys on how you can go about planning that particular sale okay thank you guys for watching I hope this video was of any help if you have any more questions leave it in the comment section below don't forget to go to my channel, which is Coupon Envy. Hit that subscribe button right there. See it there? Hit that subscribe button. And also hit this bell button right there at the top. That's your notification button. That will get you notification every time I upload a video. And see here? This is my last video, free deals and overage and clearance fine. Also, if you have no printer, no problem. You, these are different options you can do when you don't have a printer. Also, this is uh, this week's deal at Winn-Dixie and more freebies. So go ahead and check out my videos. And don't forget to leave me some questions and I will try to get back to them as soon as possible. Okay guys, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful night. Ciao. Mwah.